Hello, my dear friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. This one is a truck from Lesu. You see, it is a 1 to 10 scale and uh, it is a wooden mug and off road truck. So it is four driven and have a differential lock. Now we will start it to see the functions. Here is some uh, spare wires and the screws after assemble, left this. So from factory, it is on assembled so this one it is the assemble manual and uh, if you like the kit on assembled we can send if you like assemble it we can also help assembling it to send you the RTR version so let's start this one first we got sound that's the horn engine sound and have light only this front light and the turning signal. Turn left. Also back side. Turn around. You will see how the turning signal. Turn left. Turn right. And backward. Backward light. Okay. So this one got two speed gear. Let's first operate a little bit. Steering and slowly going. Now it is at a low speed gear, so you can operate going very slowly. Also, you can speed it up. Let's go back. So let's see, change the speed, we can Go a little bit fast to see. Let's go back. That's the full speed. And forward, that's the full speed, almost touching the box. This is only the low speed gear. So for the high speed, I have to show you by this differential so you can see the full speed. Now it is locked. Unlock it. So low speed, high speed, fully running. Change the gear. High speed. We will see the chassis later. So here we got the winch also. It's controlled by this one. So you see the shaft is turning there. If you see from top, from this angle, you can see it. So the motor is inside under the chassis, let we can see it. Okay, put it back. So okay, you can use this winch for rescue other car. Also can help yourself if your car gets stuck to get out of the track, trap. So, and here, the back side is the battery chamber. Here we put the battery, so I, I put this battery is small, yeah? Later you can also put a bigger 3S battery. So 2S and 3S battery all can run in this car. Okay, so this cabin door, we can open it. Now you can see inside. So got the control panel, the no LED light, yeah? And the seat and the control, this bar inside. And also this wheel, it is free to turn by hand. Okay, so from this side, we can also turn it around to see the door. From this angle. So after check, we will close it. And let's take a look. From the rear side here, we got the light and here is the chassis. Then we will see the, the wheel, the tires. Here we got the ladder so the man can climb up. And here this box, it is metal one. This one it actually is plastic. It is only, the, only this one plastic box. So all the upper part, it is all metal. This one is wood. The windshield it is plastic. So what is plastic is only the windshield and this box. Mud guard also metal one. Even this mirror, the bar, also metal. Okay, so here, this one got one steps for climbing on and get inside the cabin. 
the tire, the hub. So inside got some cord inside, so very could be soft for climbing on the rocks. In the front, we got this bumper, very strong or metal one, and uh, it is secured directly to the to the girder with these screws. These four screws here, and uh, yeah, this also these two screws, this position. So that's the bumper, and here is the protection, also metal one. For the chassis, we will see later. This side, this is imitating the oil tank, so also metal one. This one can open. So no other opening, so only the top. No, no more opening for connection holes. Okay, so this one, like a urine box, it is also metal one. And as you see, so this wood, it is all secured by the screws. And this, this bucket at the rear side, actually, it is connected by here, one, two. Also other side, same position, same one. So the chest is, the, this inside, the chest is have the ball shaped connection. So insert inside this, this uh, pipe, so then secured by this screw. So this bucket, it is only secured by these four points. So after you unscrew it, this bucket actually can take out. Okay, so later, this one, the bucket, this bar, this bar is with the bucket. So the cabin and the bucket, it is can completely separate, not connected. They are only all connected to the chassis. Now we will see the chassis. So here, this one connected to the bucket bottom. And uh, as we said, this have differential lock. That's the lock for each axle. And uh, here is the transmission gearbox. We will see from front. And here, under this bumper, on top, that's the steering servo. That's the rocker arm. So connecting road for this arm and connecting this connecting road for this wheel, they will turn together. So all these are CNC cutted, the chassis, this axle, all these small metal parts. And under there we see the spring. I will press it, you will see so got a big spring there for suspension and also here got the cylinder. This cylinder inside got small spring, so also acting as a suspension. Okay, let's move back. So on the there inside that's the driver motor. It is a brush driver motor and connect into the speed reduce box and then transmission box, so two speed. And the speed servo, let's check the position. For the speed servo, it is connected here. So there is the speed servo, transmission gearbox servo. I will change it so you can see it's moving. Check this one. From this angle, maybe you see clearly here, this one. So two speed. Later we will see the radio how to set in this servo and the steering, how much are the other data. Okay. So transmission gearbox, servo changing speed gear, and uh, here we leading the power output to the rear axle. In the front, this leading output power to the front axle. And also the front axle is it is connected, secured by these two bars to the after shear of the CVD shaft, this shear. Same function here also, the rear axle connected by these two bars to the CVD drive shaft after, sale, after side shear, this pipe. So it won't lean to other side. And uh, this one, susp suspension also acting same, one big spring. This connecting to the chassis, this 
directly connected the bar. And on top, the other side, we see there got the cylinder. Inside got small spring. OK. So let's see the rear side axle. Here is the differential lock. We haven't moved it yet. So now it is locked, unlocked. When unlocked, we can see it's driving. Then we lock it. It's locked and we will go all the wheels tired turning together. Okay, unlock it. So what is more to see? So the this server here it is for the differential lock. We already see how it is moving. And what you need to care about is you see here the, the main chassis, main girder, it is not a straight line. It is here it is going under there with a curve. So it can have more space there. For real car, maybe put some uh, the engine space. So it is directly stamping Mac, so with punching pressure, not bent it with a, a straight girder, yeah? Okay, so that's all the chassis. You can see from a different angle for a general idea. So it is really so many metal parts and so accurately, literally Mac, it is very beautiful. These chassis, I love it a lot. So you can drive in this one, go to the rock area and make a climbing. You can also drive it very slowly and set in your radio. Now we will see the radio, how to set it. So what you need to care about is the servo, not to burn it. OK. Engine's on off. Let's check it out. For the radio settings, uh, let's see function. So first is the end point. So channel four is for steering. So steering, if 100%, could be a little bit touching. Can increase a little bit more. Now it is 80% for steering. So if 100%, maybe touching a little bit uh, the inside the girder or some spring, so I said 80%. If you want more steering turning, you can increase only a little. Channel 5, it is the uh, speed changing. Channel 5, yeah, it is the transmission gearbox speed changing servo, so only 30%. 30% it is enough to change the gear. So if you increase more, 35, 40, the, the servo gets stuck. So because when turning, the connecting bar already in position, and the servo still want to turn, so get stuck there, the servo could be burned. So only 30%, yeah? And another one setting is the channel 8. Channel 8, it is for the differential lock. So one side 42, that's for differential release, no, no lock. 60% for lock, it is already enough to lock it. Also, it can increase a little bit more, but uh, as long as it is secured, locked in position, it is enough, yeah? And uh, if you increase to 80, it actually it is okay, because for differential lock, the wires can move in a big angle. That de depends on the, on the car, yeah? It is only reminding you how to set in this one. Also, we got another one setting. So if you're using another better radio, you can control much more better for the speed control. So for this one, let's for example, the red. So channel two is for the throttle. Go to channel two. So you see when you're moving this one, at the beginning, the car will, will not suddenly start and driving so quick. You can see the curve. So only after you push more, it will increase more and more quickly. At the beginning, it will start slowly. So if you are using a better radio, 
you can control the curve with more angles, so you can drive at the beginning even more slowly. Also, later we also considering if for the ESC we can use some even better one, ESC and motor. So, uh, if you want to crawling on the big rocks, can be moving very slow, very finely, so you can enjoy the plane. Thank you very much. Any questions you can ask us anytime. We will see each other again. Bye bye.